Hey Void, how you doing? Alrighty, so let's finish up the Creature from the Black Lagoon trilogy with the third installment, The Creature Walks Among Us. Okay, which, cool title, but doesn't necessarily make you feel like it's part of the same series. But then again, so did Revenge of the Creature. This Dropping the Black Lagoon from the two titles just, I don't know, just seemed to lose some of the mystique. But that could just be me. Alright, so this one was 1956, came in pretty much right on the heels of Revenge of the Creature, which came on the heels of Creature from the Black Lagoon. So they made these pretty much back to back to back. Okay, so this one picks up pretty much where the last one left off, with the creature now off the coast of Florida, and, uh, well... We're on an expedition to capture the creature. Pretty much rehashing the beginning of the, the last one, except for in the Florida Everglades. So, we got uh, Dr. Barton, who is determined to base his career around capturing the creature. Um, he's got his wife on board, he's got a guide, and, well... Uh, the, uh, Jed and his wife, Marsha. That's kind of our main leads here. Now, Barton is a dick. He's an abusive husband, he's very jealous, and he's not a pleasant guy. Now, Jed the guide is, yeah, making uh, passes at the wife, but the reactions from uh, Dr. Barton, not cool. So, there's also another doctor on board uh, who's involved in the research, but he doesn't play into the main drama as much, and that's Dr. Morgan, but he mostly helps with some of the surgeries and theories about uh, what's going on with the Guildman. Well, they capture the Guildman, but manage to charbroil him. So, uh, because of that, uh, they have to get him into surgery quick, as they have pretty much burned off all his scales. But in doing so, they discover that he does have rudimentary lungs underneath, and that is, now that he's shed some of the things, he's actually fair, more human than they were expecting. Problem is, Creature don't know that he's got uh, lungs and now has burned away his gills, so he keeps trying to get back into the water, which would kill him. Also, oddly, now the Creature was incredibly strong, but kind of this lithe, thin monster in the deep. Now he's got uh, shoulders like a linebacker and he seems to have put on like a hundred like an extra 150 pounds of muscle just from losing his scales so the silhouette doesn't remotely match so it looks really weird. Uh, this film is kind of I think one of the shorter ones if I recollect. It's the plot is, moves along at a pretty uh, brisk clip. Uh, yeah, about an hour and 18 minutes. So, the main crux is that uh, he's determined to prove that the creature, er, Barton's proving the creature is trainable, and that uh, possibly even able to be civilized, and, you know, make it so he can walk among us. Problem is, like I said, Doctor is a dick. So, uh, when he, in a fit of rage, kills uh, the guy Jed for... Creeping on his wife, well, flirting, having romantic scenes, you know. Uh, and then tries to blame it on the creature. It's like, the move didn't really make sense to me. I know it's kind of a bit of passion thing that's going on right here. But, like, you you big into all this research. You're trying to prove a point. Now you're deliberately going against the point you're trying to make just to... defend your wife who hates you or just defend your manly pride I guess so he's sabotaging his own research to try to blame it on the creature which no one's believing anyway and so off the creature goes he runs amok for a bit before wandering off to the sea to drown himself ah uh, that's pretty much the flick um, there's a few little details here I'm glossing over, but that's the meat of it. So, first off, I don't like the creature design here. It's not terrible, but it just looks 
it doesn't look like this was underneath the scales of the creature. And the face just looks so different. It seems to have lost a lot of what made the creature look so, well, iconic. He looks definitely more human than Fishman, so it just feels like a whole different thing here. Kind of some of the points to try to move are make are fine, but monster design just loses it a lot here. And I honestly don't know why they went this route. I mean, they could have gone with the whole making him more human on land without changing the design this drastically, especially since they. I was reading that they deliberately made him look more muscular to make him look more imposing, but it, I don't think it works. It makes it look like he's stiff, rigid, and like as a guy with potatoes shoved in his... It just doesn't work. So, yeah. Um, otherwise, the, the interpersonal drama is fine and can definitely work in a movie like this that was probably one of the better aspects particularly with uh seeing dr barton get his comeuppance that's that was working and the poignant end of the creature just either not understanding or still would rather works so there's a lot here that does but some of the design choices are just off and it's mostly the creature standing around staring at the ocean from a pen, and which isn't the most interesting things. So for me, I'm going to have to go with a four for The Creature Walks Among Us. Uh, it's worth watching to, if you're... It's not a waste of time if you want to watch through the Creature series, but really, for me, just the original Creature of the Black Lagoon is the only one of these that's really a must-see. The others aren't terrible, but they both do feel like unnecessary sequels. All right, so that's pretty much all I got for the Creature series. Uh, good to see you all again, Void. It's been a, took a couple weeks off, like I keep doing. So let's see if I can keep whittling my backlog down. Well, hope you stick with me. See you soon, Void.